All right. Uh, expectation level going into the game and then after the game, were the were those expectations met on your uh, behalf? Yeah, I think they were. We expected a, an exciting game, and that's what we got. Uh, we expected Patrick Mahomes to do his thing, and he did. And Lamar Jackson, you know, he had a rough day because that Kansas City defense uh, played better than than expected. So, uh, but still, the competitor in Jackson was very evident in the way he kept fighting and, and kept trying to get his team back into it. Uh, they're very aggressive in their play calling. You know, John Harbaugh is. It, it, it's not like, uh, well, you would know better. Is he shrinking the playbook for uh, Lamar Jackson, or is he just saying, look, I'm going to let him play with all the toys here? No, he's letting him play with all the toys. In fact, uh, Harbaugh's uh, term for it is the spectrum of the offense. He's got everything. And when you look at what the, the Ravens can do, you know, they can load up with three tight ends and put the big fullback in there, Ricard, and play power football and handing it to Mark Ingram, which they did yesterday. But they can also spread it out. But the t puzzling thing for me in that game is the lack of targets to wide receivers. Uh, at one point mm. uh, in the third quarter, uh, a wide receiver had only caught one pass, and it really had only been targeted one time. So that has to change for uh, Jackson to be more successful. I uh, asked Troy Aikman this question in the first hour. I'll uh, pose it to you. If somebody hadn't seen Patrick Mahomes play, how would you describe him? Uh, I think backyard, uh, school boy, schoolyard type of play. Uh, the play we all started uh, playing when we were 10, 11, 12 years old and then got into organized ball. Uh, he's marvelous. There's just nothing uh, more that, uh, you know, you can say about him, except maybe MVP again. Uh, he, the way he uh, performs is different than uh, the traditional quarterback. And you can say the same thing about, you know, Watson in Houston and, of course, Jackson in Baltimore. Uh, they're enjoying the game. They're having fun with the game. And they're making plays we just haven't seen before. Is there a defense that somebody can design that's going to slow down these offenses? Well, you know, it always starts up front, obviously. If, if you've got the pass rush, then you're going to slow down everybody. Uh, the defensive line is so important. And I think if you look at what uh, Aaron Donald and the Rams uh, did to the Browns last night, uh, that's what the blueprint is for stopping, uh, you know, talented people on the outside as you pressure the quarterback and, and you shut down the running game. So uh, that, you know, at the end, it always comes down to better players, doesn't it? The team of the better players usually win. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune in to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV, stream for free on BR Live, or download the Dan Patrick Show app.